<clears throat> Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. My name is the E-Pad. In the last part, we uh, caught Ho-Oh at Bell Tower in a very, very bad manner, considering that I caught it at full health with an Ultra Ball. I don't, I don't get it either. In this episode, we'll be heading to the Pokemon League. <clears throat> we'll be uh, surfing to a place that we have not actually been to yet. That I honestly should have showed off uh, since we got surfed, though, but I didn't. So I'm gonna shoot myself for this because there is some uh, new Pokemon there that I should have mentioned. But yeah, I uh, highly recommend you have a good amount of team. If you don't have a Pokemon with Surf and Waterfall, you'll probably have to switch out someone if you don't want to have an HM slave like that. So I switched out uh, Fyrus just because he's the only Pokemon here who's at who has the highest level. And so that way I can give uh, other people a good chance to fight. Uh, considering that Onox also has an EXP share, I'm pretty sure I'll have enough time to get everyone up to at least level 36. Uh, considering that Yami's very good. <laughs> Probably one of my most valuable players in this uh, team. But yeah, what we're going to do is surf to Route 27. A route that not a lot of people know about in the uh, Kanto region. But, considering that it is Kanto... Hey! Do you know what you just did? So I just switched myself to Geico. You've taken your first step into Kanto. Close. Check out your Poke Gear map and see. Yes, uh, this is really cool. If you uh, look at right here, we're very close to the uh, other side of Kanto. Well, actually, we are on Kanto, but this is not really a point where uh, a lot of people know about when we play, you know, the original Red and Blue games. Uh, Raiko, I see you. I see you. I'm coming after you somewhere at a time. Not now, though. Okay, now, speaking of Whirlpool, before we head off to this, of course we can't do anything here uh, without our HM08 and our 8th Gym Badge. Um, oh no, HM07, excuse me. Over here, it's a rare candy, which is nice. I won't be use. actually, uh, maybe I'll use it on, um, actually, now nah, I'll save it before the Elite Four, uh, just because I, I was going to use um Pupitar, but nah, maybe later. I'll see how everything goes. But yeah, there is a TM here that I'm trying to get for Fyrus. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be using him on him yet because I don't have him. But still, it's good to know that that's there. Now we're at Tojo Falls where you can find wild Quagsires. Um, around in Route 27, there is two new Pokemon you can get here. The first one is Ponyta. Ponyta is a pretty good uh, fire Pokemon. When he evolves into Rapidash, it is actually the fastest fire Pokemon in the game. Uh, it has really good physical attack and speed for it, and also has a good ability to flash fire. I highly consider this Pokemon uh, to be a very good Pokemon to have, or a very good fire Pokemon to have in your team, considering that there's physical fire attacks. Uh, it can learn some very good moves like Mega Horn, Poison Jab, and Flare Blitz. And, yeah, I, I should have mentioned this Pokemon earlier, but I never did. I am sorry if you are still looking for a 6-member or already had a 6-member by this point, but, yeah, Rabidash, highly recommend. Um, now, in this waterfall, there is a cave. If you can see closely, there's a cave behind this waterfall. If you head in here, it's something a lot of people don't really check out too often. I'll bring out my Max Repel. Uh, though it is a pretty important place later on. There's a radio that no longer works. Uh, that's pretty much the only uh, the only clue around here that you can get. Uh, I won't give it away just yet. I might actually do it, even though it kind of ends up adding some cheats to it. And I do have something that does uh, activate cheats on my DS. But I guess once, but it is something really cool, and I'm trying to look for it. You bitch! It's ready to see anyone come here now. And I think this is a trainer who has, like, a, like a Bulbasaur family. Yep, I was right. My knowledge on the original games comes in handy. And unfortunately, I can't use anything with uh, Yami right now. So I'm just going to bring up... Uh, let's use let's use Shrapnel. I feel like I'm going to quad resist everything uh, for what this Bulbasaur is going to bring. Anyways, yeah, look at that. That Bulbasaur doesn't have anything on me. And look at that, one HP. Okay, well let's do um payback, I guess. The other Pokemon you can get here, and I wish I have Rapid Spin. God damn it. Uh, 
is Doduo. Doduo is a very superb normal flying Pokemon. I generally call the Sparrow family and the Pidgey family very average and their best. But compared to Dojo, I just laugh at those other Pokemon. Because uh, I really do think that Doduo is a very good Pokemon. It's fast like Pharaoh, but unlike Pharaoh, it actually has higher physical attack. Its move pool is a lot more diverse as well. Um, so yeah, if you're still looking for a normal flying Pokemon, I could definitely recommend this one. Uh, as well as a 6 memory of team. Which also brings me to my... Uh, thought about something. I feel bad because I uh, kind of, it felt like I gave a little bit of hate to Teddy Ursa and Ursaring, uh, considering that they, they, they are the counterparts of Fanfi and Donphan, but I don't know. I, I do like those two Pokemon, and I feel like they should be used a little more often. So, if, if I seemed like I was trying to give the wrong idea for Teddy Ursa and Ursaring, they are very good Pokemon. They're just, like I said, they're just tough to recommend because you get uh, other normal types before. Whereas no one flying types, there really isn't much good ones, like, uh, you know. Because Dodo is pretty much the best. Actually, no, what am I saying? Uh, you can't actually get Ponyta and Rabidash. Okay, so I'm not the stupid one. Uh, Ponyta, you can't get Ponyta and Dodo until you get the Waterfall HM and the Gym Badge, so I guess there's really no harm done. Or go to pleasure, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, so, I mean, if if anything, before the Elite Four, you should get all six members. And there's really no a shame. Um, there's really no shame to actually, you know, find a six member in this route. So, yeah. Okay, and now this Venus is doing pedal dance. Is that... Stop! You seriously want to do critical... Mmm! No! I don't want to faint here! Please, no! Why didn't I switch out? This is stupid! I hate when this happens to me! I freaking died to trainer fights! I... <clears throat> yeah, you get confused. That's not fair. Oh, God. I have to waste my revives and hyper potions. I didn't buy any hyper potions since the, uh... Since the Ho oh fight. Actually, no. Never mind. Since I did. Okay, never mind. I have enough hyper potions. I, I forgot. I, since I uh, deleted that whole thing, it's like. I mean, since I reset it, I don't have to worry about losing potions. But still, I'm pissed about that. I'm pissed about having to catch that Ho oh in an Ultra Ball with full health, and it didn't have to work before that. Like, all those times, it didn't work. Okay, revives. There we go. And I don't like having commentary when I'm healing my Pokemon because that it kind of like drags things down. Okay, I'm gonna try to skip as much trainers as I can unless if they are required. But if you talk to this lady, where are you off to with your Pokemon? The Pokemon League? Are you Pokemon loyal enough to do, let you win? Uh, your Pokemon trusts you very much. I, I don't think for one way she's gonna like say no. Your Pokemon doesn't trust you. Uh, she'll give you. TM-37, which is very worth it in this game. It's Sandstorm. Um, ground and Rock types and Steel types are immune to it, and Rock types also get a boost in special defense. I believe it gets doubled. So that's really cool. Um, I'm not going to teach it to anyone, just because I'm... Uh, Onyx will eventually have an ability which is like that, just infinitely. So... Oh, please don't do that. Don't... <laughs> I seriously hate the trainer fights that drag on so much because they keep freaking what? They 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 keep making me go to sleep. It doesn't do anything. They just attack me anyways. I hate that. I hate trainers now. I hate trainers in any game. Oh god, that trainer's got in the TM I need. I think. I hope not. Well, anyway, uh, in order to get the TM that I'm going for, you have to have Whirlpool even in the original game. Um, Whirlpools are very like less often. In fact. I feel like that's the last. That is not the TM I want. Oh, is it at? Oh, it's at the Golden Rock. Okay, I, I think I think it probably at, is at the Golden Rock thing. But uh, TMO2 is Dragon Claw. It's a good physical attack. Not really anything special to it though, but it's there. Um, I believe um, Tyranitar can actually learn it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, yeah, I think this is the last uh, 
whirlpool we're actually passing through that's uh actually like noticeable at least I might actually take on these trainers off screen of course but uh because I, I don't want to you know drag on to much, uh, much of anything because unless if they're required of course though that trainer wasn't the the grow trainer but anything that is required I guess I'll show off like uh I don't know Destiny not uh, that prevents infatuation I think oh no 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 if you get infatuated your opponent gets infatuated as well so yeah I'm not really into that move but it's there we also get revived thank God I need some extra ones and if I see what's over there it's a psychic trainer so I'm gonna skip that actually the safest thing to do is to surf uh, on the side I also like how like um, your own Pokemon doesn't even like get the trainer noticed, which is cool. Um, is there anything? Ooh, well it's a water trainer, so that's fine. But still, I'm gonna skip you. And hey, Cameron. Um, let's take a picture. Even though Fires is not with us, let's take a picture. I want to see how Lapras looks, anyways. Oh, that's a very clever name, Cameron. <laughs> And uh, Lapras looks. Oh, I like Lapras's sprite. It's nice. Okay, so that's about it for that. So let's keep going. Uh, we're going to a very good spot right now. I don't think we have to take this guy on. Actually, no. There's nothing over there. There is an item though. I believe there's like a max revive somewhere around here. Uh, let's head over here, down here, and this house. This house is important. In case you've never actually uh, gotten everything done, you can see there's a uh, like what s seven beds. There's something written here. To my brothers and sisters, we take pride in serving Pokemon trainers. When trainers talk to you, give them something useful. Love Monica. Let's keep reading. Monday Monica Route 40. Tuesday Tuscany Route 29. Wednesday Wesley Lake of Rage. Okay, if you haven't guessed yet, these are the trainers or the the NPCs who uh, give you those type covering items uh, considered depending on where you are I probably won't get them anyways because uh, maybe one called magnet but I don't know I might just like skip at them and why I thought my repels up okay apparently not I guess it just turned off but hey it's Ponyta that's cool I don't know Ponyta is one of my favorite uh is one of my more favorite Kanto Pokemon. I feel like it's kind of underrated for some people. It is kind of generic sometimes, but I don't know. I also like how uh, Ponyta's sprite, uh, it, its shiny sprite is like blue fire. I always thought that was really cool, except that Rapidash's uh, shiny sprite turns into gray fire, which doesn't make sense and looks kind of gross. I know that Pokemon with blue fire really looks cool, like Chandelure, because I really like Chandelure. And uh, I remember that Chandelure's uh, shiny sprite's actually regular fire. I was like, ah, I don't want that. It's, it's normal. It looks like a regular fire thing. Uh, I believe this house is a healing house. You look at your fire place. Yeah. When I was uh, young, I was so mad that um, I, 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 like, my Pokemon fainted a lot, and I used my items right before heading to this house. I didn't know what this house was going to have. Um. I think there's a room, I think there's like two more trainers ahead, if I'm not mistaken. Let's do one more trainer, and then we'll call it a good, we'll call it a day. I believe that's a good time to end it off. By experiencing tough battles, you gain more power, or you gain power, okay. So what do you have here? You have three Pokemon, Victory Bell, oh god, uh, I am tired of fighting grass types. And Quagasires. A lot. <laughs> Let's bring out a uh, Shrapnel once again. Shrapnel's like the ultimate wall against grass Pokemon. Grass and poison Pokemon. Like, see? Like that. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, let's do Payback. I still can't really tell what's stronger. Payback or Bug Bite. Because Bug Bite... Well, I'm pretty sure Payback will be stronger at, from considering that it's... Uh, going seconds. Bug Bite doesn't really do that. But it, in the long run, I am going to replace one of the moves. I either Payback or Bug Bite, and I have no idea what. Um, 
but yeah. Okay, so we have payback. I mean, we got that one done. On, uh, now he's bringing a Flareon. Ooh. Yeah, C4 some. Um, you know what? Onox, I want to see you fight. I want to see you at your best. Kind of worried, though, because I feel like this Flareon probably has, like, will or something. Let's do a uh, Screech. Okay, you have Bite. That's not too bad. Except if I flinch. Except when he does Sand Attack. Oh, God. Okay, well, at least I got him. Uh, Flareon doesn't really have that good physical defense. Uh, though, I'm pretty sure Onox could probably take this thing down. If you rock side. That's something I really like about the EV evolutions. They all have, like, three great cons and three bad... I mean, no, three bad cons and three big pros and stuff. Like, um, they usually have three really good stats and then three really bad stats. I always thought that was really interesting. Okay, I bring a Kingler. Definitely using Yami. I think I could easily knock out this thing with one discharge. Yeah, Yami with your awesome face. I love it. Ooh, ee, ooh, ooh. Okay, use this. Oh, you're faster than me. How is a Kingler faster than me? Oh, yeah, and it's going to... Oh, and you're going to use Protect. That was a weird-looking Protect. It was like... When, since it was, like, lagging for, like, a second, it was like, ugh. It looked like... Something weird. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! That is not going to happen. You cannot have a King's Rock on you, either. Come on. There we go. Now, KO this thing, Yami. I know you could. There we go. Yeah, it kingless sucks. That's all there is to it. And you level up. Awesome. Okay, we got that done. And uh, let's go to Ace Trainer Gavin. And I believe this trainer actually wants to give you a phone number. I have a train. I have a battle. Any kind of phone number? Yeah, sure. You're pretty strong. I really see no need. How should I beat you? I'm tormented by those thoughts all the time. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for today. Uh, next time in Pokemon Heart Gold, we will head straight up to uh, the rest of this route and head to Victory Road. Yeah, we're going to see Victory Road. So yeah, that's about it. Next time, we'll do just that. I'll see you all whenever. <laughs>